then the nun said, and I know only washed it this morning. <laughs> oh, Martin, you're outrageous. I don't get it, Gov. When I told Connie that exact same joke the other week, she said it was sexist. It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind, Stephen. It's madness. <laughs> it's a full and trap to schizophrenia. Once you've made a decision, you should stick to it. I, for one, would rather be consistently wrong than occasionally right by accident. Where did I go wrong, though? It was all going so well between me and her. Then you met. <laughs> well, I'll never understand it. What is it women want? Well, Stephen, in your case, what women want... is someone else! No! <laughs> In there, Gav. It is funny because it is voracious. No, it's true. Look at his face, it's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you two, break it up. Uh, I'm paying you to decorate and you to serve drinks. If I'm going to pay people to have sex, then I expect to be involved. <laughs> well, I never knew you could. Well, not with you. Right, still, two years, eight, long time. <laughs> no, it's okay, I'm not into threesomes. Been there. Done that. No, you haven't. Oh, God. So young, so pure. No, leave her alone. The thought of you two together, of you touching her in her secret, most special, undiscovered lady places. Oh, imagine that. Oh. Disgusting. Leave her alone. Now, there's a barrel changer. Go on. Uh, no, according to the barrel changing rotor, it's your turn. You bloody student with your bloody rotors. <laughs> Damn these useless hands! <laughs> Steve, you're ripping up, would you, Sam? I'd love to, girl, but according to my ripping up the rotor rotor, it's Connie's turn to Don't rip up the rotor. Don't you bloody start! <laughs> I've got Barman's hand, haven't I? Look at me! Don't look at me! <laughs> so I can't change a barrel. Connie, you do it. Oh, all right. I'll be back in a second, honey bum. Honey bum? <laughs> Got any lunch left? Oh, hold on a minute, Terry. Aren't you bad? Uh, not that I recall. Yeah, he is, Gov. He dressed Gary up in scuba diving gear and tried flushing him down the toilet. <laughs> I was training him up to join my war against fish. You'll be grateful for aqua dogs like Gary when those fish launch their unprovoked attack. It'll be like pearl necklace all over again. <laughs> dogs don't eat fish. Wouldn't aqua cats be a more efficient attacking force? You have obviously never tried to flush a cat down a toilet. <laughs> oh, lovely curry! In the absence of ram and dams, have a nice packet of crisps with a go with those, Gov. I'm sorry, Terry, we're all out of crisps. Out of crisps? Why? Why? Well, I haven't been able to leave the pub for a fortnight because of those bloody decorators. I mean, they're Irish, aren't they? They can't be trusted. <laughs> I suppose that you think that just because they're Irish they must be terrorists? No, I'm not worried about that. It's all right when you've got a group of Irish guys together. Safety in numbers, innit? It's when you've got one on his own with luggage you have to panic. <laughs> Look at his watch. Personally, I won't be happy until all the British troops are taken off the streets of Dublin. What? Shut up. Yeah, and that'll be a glorious day. Honestly, the only person who knows less about Ireland than you is everyone in America. <laughs> leave them on their own in here. Look, one governor I know, he had some paddy decorators in. He only popped out for five minutes to buy some chalk for the specials board, and by the time he got back, they'd done it up. The full Irish. Yeah? Bicycle in the window, rope on the bar, <laughs> hardback books everywhere. I don't know, in the old days, the Irish used to blow our pubs up. Now they refit them tastefully. <laughs> I know which one frightens me more. Well, I need more Chris Gov Tonto, so if you don't go and get some, I will be taking my costume elsewhere. Assholes. <laughs> All right, then, you bog monkeys, listen to me. I'm going to pop out for a moment, and I don't want to get back and find any Celtic embellishments. Don't understand. Oh, yes, you do. No bicycles in the window. No. No, no, no hardback books, no rope on the bar. Don't be ridiculous. No signs to Galway. I don't want to go to Galway. <laughs> so how far away it is and in which direction is irrelevant. Don't be daft. No fiddles on the ceiling where they're no use to anyone. No, uh, no sacks of fiberglass spuds in the corner. No, honestly, Gov, I swear to God, we're not going to put any of that shade in. Nothing that you have said anyway. Ah, 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 ah. No poems by Yates lovingly stenciled on the wall in curly writing. <laughs> no. God, I love Yeats. Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought them golden and silver light, and the blue and the dim and the, and the dark light of night and night. And kite and might and bright and flight, and his 
for light. What a load of shite. Watch it, big lad. Poetry is a heartbeat of the Irish. No, oh, yeah, the Irish, a nation of beautiful poets telling beautiful poems beautifully in English. My rest of my <laughs> Tread softly because you tread in my dreams. God, that's so romantic. If you carry on like that, I'm going to have to issue a flood warning to my knickers. Why? <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> right. <laughs> well, I'm going out, and I don't want you putting anything Irish in my pub. Especially not in my bar, mate. <laughs> not in my pub. You got that? OK. You didn't say anything about the car park. Sweet. <laughs> Lucky, ugly bastard. <laughs> uh, you, you know, Connie, I know some poetry as well. Really? If you want to eat some food, Kentucky's chicken is hand-sucking good. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the advert. I must be clocking crazy! <laughs> and if we're being honest about it, um, food and good don't actually rhyme, do they? They do the way Kentucky sings, don't they? Oh, damn this useless ass! Oh, my Chris, my beautiful Chris! Oh, it's all right. Nothing Irish. <laughs> no bicycle in the window. No rope on a bar. No comedians telling stories instead of jokes. <laughs> well, I knew I thought of everything. Justice. Ah, uh, you got a Zirkoff. Too clever by far. Send this for us, will you, mate? Yeah, sure. There you go. Terry, yet again, the Irish bow down before the might of the great British Empire. A bunch of useless, stinking... What the hell is that? <laughs> Bastards! I wish him well. I definitely said no wishing well. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. It's so obvious. No wishing well. Not according to my log. Oh, thank you, Captain Janeway. Oh, I wish. Oh, I don't know if I wishing well. I never even mentioned leprechauns. You should be ashamed of yourself. But don't rub it in. Get rid of this monstrosity! No, I'm sorry, you signed for it. And rules are rules, not use English you like it, enforcing your rules. Well, let's have a go. Thank you for blessing me this day! <laughs> now that is poetry. <laughs> yeah! Thank you for blessing me this day! Good luck will surely come your way. Thank you for blessing me this day! Good luck will surely come your way! Thank you for blessing me this day! Good luck will surely come your way. All right, Steve, you've been in there an hour. Give it a rest. I'll have to. I've got no money left. I wonder when the magic starts working. Yeah, where have you been getting all that money from, anyway? Oh, there's loads of it over there in the till. Ha! <laughs> you idiot, that's coming out your wages. Go on, fish it out. Oh, no, you don't. All the money in that well goes to charity. Ha! Huh. Well, if the poor and or nutty kiddies will benefit. Oh, no, of course, the Irish inheritance. It's a promote Irish culture. We plan to have a bicycle in the window of every pub in England by the year 2000. <laughs> Arsehole! I'm going to get that thing out of here! He who desecrates my magic well will most surely go to hell! <laughs> oh, it's a jukebox as well! I'm really getting into this modern news. <laughs> Back off, you English bastards! <laughs> What did you say? It just called me an English bastard. It did, it did, it spoke to me. It's a dummy with a recorder behind it. Say it again, say it again! Thank you for blessing me this day. But it spoke to me. It did. It's some kind of evil Irish magic, yeah. Listen, I did paranormal studies last term, and magic is fiction like Father Christmas or fairies or uh, or, or religion. Blasphemer! I remember a time when a young woman like you would have been burned at the stake for even suggesting such a thing. There haven't been any witch burnings in this country since the 17th century. When will I die? <laughs> it's just a rather charming way of raising money for charity, and it is so cute! Hold on. Irish inheritance is a subsidiary of the Irish Republican Army. Ah, come on, you're all mates now. Hey! But that's impossible! What is? In the new issue of But That's Impossible, I have come third in the But That's Impossible Reader Werewolf Lookalike Competition. <laughs> but that is impossible. The leprechaun was right. Good luck has surely come my way. It's true! The well is enchanting! Its powers have been scientifically proven by Stephen's good fortune. It's worth a pant. Oh, stop it! You're spending your drink!
stinking money! I hate you, you stupid little leprechaun bastard! You're gonna ruin me! Fuck you! Hey! Thank you, 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 for blessing me this day. Good luck will surely come your way. That's about the fifth time Terry's been back in there in an hour. Addicted. Sad. Lend me some money, Connie. Um, yeah, sure. I think I've got something here for you. Um... I've got to get rid of this leprechaun. He speaks to me. He does. He doesn't like me. <laughs> Listen, Gav, you're under a lot of strain. I did psychology last time. Oh, no, you don't. Just because a leprechaun is talking to me and no-one else can hear it, that does not make me mental. No, not mental. You're, you're stressed. You're confused. Oh, I was never confused. <laughs> it could explain your barman's hand. <laughs> problem could be psychosomatic. Oh, that's posh for vomiting the vicar too much. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to help, you stupid old Catholic bastard. Help me get rid of it. I mean, this leprechaun, he must be against God and nature or whatever. On the contrary, Jesus loved all leprechauns. Eh? He cured hundreds of them. <laughs> that was lepers, you soft headed old crap. Ah, don't worry about it, old fella. You'll be helping the Catholics soon enough. We, we only, only have, have to, to be, be lucky, lucky once. <laughs> 58 Earth minutes have elapsed since I inserted my money into that well, and still I have experienced no discernible good fortune. Patience is a turtle. <laughs> slowly, slowly catching monkey. Oh, what a fool I have been to think that my problems could be solved by a puddle of water and a plastic gnome. I've wasted precious fucking drinking money on that cocking sham. <laughs> Someone is going to pay. <laughs> oh, well, I'd better be off. It is Tuesday. I have to go home to soap mother's leg. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, the prof. The hospital. For you. Hello? Why, that's wonderful news. Thank you. <laughs> mother has been trampled by a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I should be in hospital for a week. Let the good times roll. <laughs> the well is magic! Yay! Oh. Hello. Yeah, the old man with no name. Hospital for you. Hello? Yes? That's wonderful news. What is it? The test results are in. I've got two weeks to live. I'm going to die soon. <laughs> <laughs> the well is magic! Yes! That's Yay! not lucky! <laughs> Hello, yes, Terry, it's the hospital for you. Uh, hello, yes, yes, fine, great, fine. What is it? They said if I don't stop hanging round the nurses' home at night, they're going to have to start calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously haven't put enough money in yet. Ah, leprechaun, you failed, you're not magic at all. Wanker. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank no. you. <laughs> Magic, of course not. Now, I mean, Connie, you put your money in, you haven't any luck, have you? Oh, I wouldn't say that exactly. Sham your tongue, Martin. Oh! <laughs> God! <laughs> right, that little corner's got to go! Hold on, Jerry, what are you doing? Ah, oh, this pissing well is great. <laughs> yeah, so is the long walk to the Carsies. That's luck enough for me. <laughs> you want to be careful. You, you, you aggravate the little fella. Who told you about that? <laughs> no, the leprechaun. You'll upset him. He's magic. He's evil. He'll swear at you. He will. Uh, it might be lucky for you too, eh, Gav? Go on, bung some money in. Oh, I don't know. I've never really had much luck with luck in my life. I've only really ever had one wish. It's to get my boy back. And to get a carvery. Yeah. <laughs> and to beat that Greg Thompson. Ooh. Yeah, and to join the bar stewards, that'd be nice. And maybe to attend a homosexual orgy, just so I can see what those fellas are doing and rule it out as disgusting. <laughs> get out! <laughs> One wish, is, is that too much to ask, eh? You'll have no luck. You'll be a loser until you have an Irish bruiser. Oh, so that's your gun, is it? You want to turn my pub into an Irish one? Well, it's not going to happen. No way! I won't be dictated to by some poxy plastic paddy pixie. Oh, you tripped me once too often, leprechaun. And now you're going to pay. <laughs> Damn these useless hands. Hello. Everything all right?
right, Governor. Hey! Miss Jackson! <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> Were you talking to that leprechaun? Who, me? Talking to the leprechaun? <laughs> Don't be tough, the cool stuff is not alive, I wouldn't talk to it. Tusser! Ah, shut up, you stupid little! Yeah, <laughs> me talking to a leprechaun. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> your regulars are raving about this wishing well. Whoa, 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 it's magic, you know. Never believe it's not so. <laughs> Do you remember that song? No. <laughs> anyway. It's great PR for the pub. And the best thing of all is it's all for charity. <laughs> yeah, but it's evil, it's magic, it talks to me. It wants to hurt me. It does, it does. <laughs> Gov, I wonder if you shouldn't take tomorrow off. Have a bit of a lie-in. I can look after the old rubber-dub-dub. -dub. The what? The pub. I can look after the pub. Why didn't you just say that then? <laughs> Listen, are you two going to be long? <laughs> I've really got to curl one out. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Keep those Irish eyes a smiling. Will you please form an orderly queue? You're not going to get there any quicker by pushing. <laughs> they are your dreams come true. <laughs> Oi, hurry up! I'm busting! <laughs> Terry, am I right in thinking that you've been using the well as a urinal? No. No. Listen to the question. Think about what the words mean. Have you been using the well as a urinal? Yes! Wouldn't it just be quicker to use the loo? It's miles away. Oi, hurry up! Hey, that's in my way, you bloody freaks and cripples. <laughs> All right, Connie, my little darling, I've been thinking about you. Geezer was selling these in my boozer. I bought the whole lot, including the bucket. The bucket? How very romantic. But it's a shame, you see, because I received a dozen buckets last Valentine's Day. I don't know if I can use this one. I can. G give it to me. It's starting to dribble. <laughs> anyway, I'm with Martin now and he knows how to treat a woman. He recites poetry to her and then goes down on her for six hours. I want to hear for the crack. <laughs> now that is filth. But poetry I can do. <clears throat> I don't know how I could have lived before we met. You're the breath in my lungs, my heartbeat, and yet... A moment without you is like an eternity in hell. I cannot forget your face, your smile, your smell. Our love is a flame that will burn forever. And I will not be complete until we're together. Plus, I'm packing enough to fill Bigfoot's sock. <laughs> I'm implying I've got a massive cock. <laughs> Yeah. You don't want to mess with me, mate. I can make life very difficult for you. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? Me and the Irish Republican army. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, luckily for you, I've got to get back up to Queen of Arts. Well, is that where you live? We're good at pubs. No, I meant the Laughing Cavalier. <laughs> Later. Martin, this wishing well is a massive hit. It's... It's boombastic. <laughs> I just wondered, do you have any other ideas for the pub? <laughs> How about grab a granny night? Because <laughs> it's about the only chance you've got of pulling. <laughs> well, I was wondering, have you ever wondered how far away you are from Galway? Yes, I have. <laughs> my pub! What have I done to my pub? No! No! <laughs>
Ah! 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 Thank God, it was just a dream. Or was it? <laughs> uh, could you turn your back, darling? I can't go if someone's watching. That was a cue. Oh, let me through. This is important. So it's this. <laughs> How did you get down here so quick? Oh, you're good, Leprechaun. Very good. I'll do it. Whatever you want. The full Irish. Looks like I'll be here for some time. Oh, goody. But all I ask in return is one wish. If you promise to me be good and true, then one Irish wish I'll give to you. All right. I wish that you will do the opposite of everything I say. But if we do the opposite of everything you say, then I must do what you say. But if I do what you say, then I must do the opposite. And so I must do what you say. Penis has burnt away to nothing. To be honest, it was like that before. Shut up, old man. <laughs> Jordan and his men must have wired this wrong or something. Criminy. The lawsuit on burning a man's winky doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> right, lads, we better get off. Got that other job to get to, remember? What? You're leaving? I'm sorry, Connie, love. I have to. I'm a decorator. Whenever there's walls need papering and tiles need grouting, my job will never be over. Oh, we'll always have the car park. <laughs> <laughs> Justice! <laughs> Can I take him home, Guff? A mouth some mouth. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, right, better find a nice new home for all this lovely money. <laughs> oh yeah, Terry. Mm. <laughs> Crossbait! I got a little job for you, son. Fantastic. 